Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story, a new era. 31. I, I promise I'm, I'm not going to count every episode, but you no, know, 31. You know, once you, I don't know if anyone else is the same as this, uh, but I find that when I reach a mi milestone, my brain just tells me like, okay, you're good. Stop. You don't have to do anymore. You're good. Like, well, I mean, I haven't completed most of my goals, so it's uh, ha hardly true. Anyway, we uh, I marked out, I signed uh, signed out our um, hide preparing area and uh, put some more roads down. We did some farming. We did some cooking. Isn't isn't this fun? Um, this series is basically becoming a vlog. It's it is a vlog. It's a vintage story log. It's more like a vlog. The slog. That's what it is. Um, so this is great. I, I actually intended to um, dig or mine up some lead. Put, picked up the lead nugget and then dug like down for one block. Realized I had no pickaxe. Went to go make some and then I completely got distracted and uh, never went back to collect the lead. I swear to God, I do want to collect lead at some point. And for a specific reason is I want to make... Uh, leaded window panes. I kind of want to make the the cottage feel a little bit nicer and give it some give it some light and also be able to see all the creepy crawlies that are trying to murder me. I did a lot of collecting cattails, a lot of collecting cattails, and we're going to be collecting a lot of cattails because they are ne needed for these. Uh, what are they called? Keps? Skeps? Skeps? I think they're called skeps. Um, the, uh, the beehive there, you may have noticed for a split second, was, uh, just about ready to populate, but I needed to kill some time, so I found myself a mine to go dig out, needed some more borax. Borax is gonna be one of those things I always need more of, so, um, finding some right here was kind of quite the- Can you sh can you stop? Jesus. Borax. No. Stop it. Yeah, it no, what do you want? Okay. Um, borax was going to be uh, <laughs> the ticket for, for much of our leather curing. Um, the, the freaking beehive still wasn't ready to go, so I needed to kill some more time. Meanwhile, I was being harassed by all these lads. Um, so I decided to use some of our cattails to make some poultice. Um, that comes in handy. I honestly would like to recommend keeping some cattails on you at all times so that you can make some poultice because there tends to be horsetail just kind of hanging around even in the winter time I'm pretty sure almost died to a fox that's a I, don't, I wouldn't say that's a first but certainly it's not um well might not even be the last but we didn't die either way came back I decided to go get the bees later really was excited for the bees i mean this has kind of been one of those things i always say this when i'm like about to do anything in vintage story but it's been pending for a while and i really was excited to to get the bees settled in our in their new home back at the ranch back at the old warehouse slash uh long house slash uh cottage slash uh windmill slash building slash uh cathedral um Anyway, found some of these bighorn elks, what are they called, ewes? And uh, actually did get some more um, fat. That's really slow, but um, we are getting there. Uh, I think I'm up to six fat now. It's going to take a while. So we got our skep full of bees and we throw it down. It's a little bit tricky to figure out how to pick it up and also put it down. Like I said, it does take up a um, pocket not not just like an inventory slot but actually an inventory slot yeah i know that's very good terminology we've got we've settled on that there but uh yeah it's it's uh you gotta figure out some fun new key shortcuts in vintage story that you basically never use and never will again in order to select specifically the inventory slot that the skip takes up and then uh, are able to place it down. I recommend just kind of looking up the beekeeping part of the wiki or maybe my tutorial tips and tricks video if ever I make one. I don't know, no commitments. Found another ewe. This one, I don't think it had any fat actually, but I think this other lad did. 
Um, I'm being careful, and I love how they all die in the water. It's just one of those things, they're, they're actually catchable in the water. So that's why they all end up dying in the water. I am being careful to not kill any of the um, ewes or bighorns or whatever you want to call them um, near our base. Um, I really do I do want to do animal husbandry, animal husbandry with those. So I'm keeping in mind not to disturb the ones that are close by. Uh, and there are a couple I've kind of staked out that I think are going to be good candidates for um, you basically farming. So we should do that soon. Um, trying to make the most out of our bees and also like just kind of flood them with as many flowers as possible. The more flowers you put down, the faster they'll um, their population will grow and also the faster they will make honey as well as the faster they will split. Uh, the whole thing about bees is they kind of, you need to wait for them to split into other skeps that you're going to want to place down, hence the need for tons and tons of cattails. And um, once they've split, then they will eventually make honey, although it takes quite a long time to uh, for the skep to fill up. When you break the skep, the bees are gone, so you're definitely going to want to wait for them to populate their the local skeps before you um, break for the honey. Chances are that will happen if you do things properly, though. I've been putting down the skeps um, with a two block of separation and then surrounding them with flowers. That was recommended to me by the wiki as well, so I'm just kind of following that. I think we found some more... Is this quartz? We found some more quartz? Yes, um, I wanted to find specifically either gold or silver with a specific intention in mind. Um, I've come to desire a better lantern and people told me that uh, silver and gold lanterns were better and that is true and not only are silver and gold lanterns better but also lined lanterns so if you line a lantern with either silver or gold um, it will extend the range so if you have a silver or gold lantern lined with silver or gold then you are going to have a really nice lantern uh, I'm not making these for the base, I am making it for basically carrying around. Uh, and then I'll use or put the lantern I'm currently using in the base. Lanterns I think will eventually be our main light source. I, for various reasons, once one, it's going to become a lot easier to make plates later on. Um, two, um, we're actually going to have a sustainable source of wax from our beehives. And also lanterns are just really nice. They are better than the torches. Um, I think they are more cost effective, generally speaking. I think they cover more ground than the torch holders. I know you get two torch holders, but it, it still kind of makes for grim lighting because they don't, their range is, is pretty piss poor if I'm being honest. So once we had uh, enough silver, I needed 400 units of silver in order to make a lined lantern because uh, we need two plates and that's going to cost two bars each, four bars, 400 units. It's a lot, you know, like uh, metalworking in, in Vintage Story really is really expensive. So hence why I, I always try and get way, way, way more than I need. When it comes to copper, basically that is infinite. Like I need, I always just need copper forever. So there, there I am puzzling things out, trying to figure out how to make the, the big lantern. I don't have any wax yet, so that's, you know, it's going to have to wait until we uh, actually get our first amount of honey, but I can prepare everything else needed for it. Um, once that was done, I just kind of set the plates aside and didn't worry about them. And once they, uh, but they, you know, while they were smelting, I did get working on the greenhouse. The greenhouse, I know we're like, what, three or four or five episodes and I have yet to stop talking about this greenhouse. It's a big project, you know, all of my projects are fairly ambitious and the greenhouse is basically the 16th chapel of uh, greenhouses. And we had to pause basically all of our chores in order for a light temporal storm to come by, but this is a new light temporal storm because um, this is a new version of Vintage Story. So. Uh, we were greeted to a rather nasty looking new animation where the walls look like they're bleeding or melting and I really don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I, I think that warping kind of graphic was there before but it, it seems a bit more extreme now. And I don't know if maybe this is a bug in New Vintage Story but I was having, I was having creepy crawlies spawning in the base while I was 
banging out my my silver plates and they, they kept harassing me and I think my lighting's pretty good so I don't know if it was on me or I don't know it's just like the, maybe they were clipping through the wall but it really did just kind of keep happening and it was a real bummer uh, all things considered eventually I think I die here but like I, I set my spawn yeah there it is I set my spawn quite a, a few episodes ago so um, it's really not a big deal and we spawn right back in our base. I'm, I am actually very glad I did that. Would have been a huge pain in the butt if I hadn't. So, gotta bang out this second plate. The plates really are the worst. Um, once we have automation, I've said this before, but once we have automation set up, plates will happen a lot more easily. Just the way you, um, you know, do metal working, you do s smelting and, and uh, just kind of work things into plates is a lot simpler once you have automation set up, but you know It won't be for a while I'll Tell you I'll tell you that for nothing it won't be for a long time I'm looking forward to it. Honestly at this point I could I could really do with some automated plate making I'm wondering if I couldn't simplify our second floor a little bit just to um, shorten the amount of uh, fat I'm gonna need just seems like an uh, absurd amount of animals I have to kill in order to <laughs> to get our, our factory going, but eh, whatever, it's fine. Get our our bone dust or whatever you want to call it, grinder, grinded bone meal. Um, get our borax, get everything ground. There was a lot of grinding this episode, but we got it all done. If you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing. And thank you very much to the people su supporting me on coffee. If you want to check that out, I'd highly appreciate it. Take it easy. I'll see you guys next time.